Hey, Scott from MyGrowthRings.com. Here, here happens to be in my dining room. It's Easter weekend. I have family in from out of town. I didn't think I was going to get a video ready for you this weekend. And then I realized I actually had something pre-recorded. A uh, couple weeks ago, I received two questions from people who were having the same issue. And that was their miter gauge was locked in their miter slot. Now, if you don't know what's happening here, this we're talking about the Shopsmith miter gauge, which happens to have a slot cut in the bar. And in the middle of that slot, there's a tapered set screw. We can lock that in place in a number of applications. Um, for the belt sander, we might use that as a bit of a fence to guide us in square or an angle. We use it on the disc sander also to guide us in at an angle uh, or square. Um, we can lock it in when we're doing horizontal boring for stops on all kinds of functions such as drilling and mortising, things like that. Um, now, but the thing is, if you tighten that down too tight, there may be no way to get that darn thing out. And even worse is if your hex wrench is starting to get worn out or if the hex shape gazenta on your set screw is getting worn out, it, it may feel as if it is stripped. So one way to, to avoid that would be to insert a piece of paper into the slot, set your bar on top of that piece of paper, right at the set screw when you tighten it. So that way you're not driving that tapered set screw so deep in order to get it to spread. Um, but if you're in the same boat that I was in when I shot this video, um, you, you need a solution. So I filmed this in December of 2020 and somehow or another misplaced it. But because I got these same questions one after another, I thought, you know what? I had the same issue and I think I recorded a video. So here's that moment. So I have a uh, unexpected bonus tip for you. The set screw right here is used to lock the miter gauge in the slot. And I was using this as a as a, a V block for drilling some things last night with my grandkids. And lo and behold, when I went to loosen this, the set screw snapped in half. So it's going to take a screw extractor to get that out. A screw extractor, which I don't happen to have here. So I'm going to go ahead and drive this out. Now because it's a uh, it's got a washer here for a T slot, I can't lift it out. So to drive it out, I can either hit here on the protractor, which isn't really a good idea, uh, or if uh, better yet, I could take a piece of three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood, three quarter of an inch Baltic birch plywood will fit right down to that slot. And I'm gonna drive the end of this with a uh, rawhide mallet and get that slowly to move. Now I did just spray a little bit of a uh, lubricant there and hopefully that'll aid in this process. Which will fall off if we're not careful. We do have that washer right here, which should keep it from falling onto the floor, hopefully. Here we go. Without the side pressure, I may be able to remove this now. Typically, I will now. Now, I'll turn that from the back side to get it out. And uh, like I say, guaranteed, it's broken. get up here on the part of the wrench that I know is not worn out and it's just it's just stripped out so the threads are holding tight but the hex portion of it is no longer uh, no longer engaging so that is going to take a screw extractor to remove well thankfully for this project we don't need that so as you can see, it's not very exciting and it's not fun either. Um, I would advise you to have on hand spare tapered set screws. 
you can purchase those set screws individually um, from Shopsmith. I've never found them in the wild, so I don't know if they're proprietary or if they're just something I hadn't discovered. Also, as I mentioned in the video, you can make sure that you're using a fresh hex wrench, or if you can get it into it deep enough, be sure that you're tightening or loosening on a portion of the wrench that isn't chewed up. Frustrating thing to experience. It's even more frustrating to watch. Um, I hope it never happens to you, but just in case, it never hurts to be prepared. All right, make it a great week.